What's up, good people? Boy, I'm going to tell you, we love what we do. You're listening to the Money Mark Syndicated Radio Podcast, and we are getting it in once again. We promised you 2024 we was going to kick it off, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to start out special thanks to the uh, UW Washington football team getting to the national championship. I want to give a salute out to UW on that. And with them doing that, I ain't done with UW yet. And let me tell you what I mean. University of Washington needs to and must bring back Lorenzo Romar as the head coach of the University of Washington basketball team. And folks, I'm going I'm to hit this one right between the eyes. Okay, and there is no doubt about it. You know, Mike Hopkins... Syracuse University went in there and took over the program. And he just had the plain vanilla success that every coach has that has somebody else's recruits. And so this message is to the athletic director. Just been appointed October 7, 2023. Troy Denon, you replaced Jen Cohen and went up to USC. I'm going to give you the best move. You're out of Tulane University. I'm going to give you the best move that's going to get you two national champions. Okay, because you got a football team that's getting it done. And now we got to think about the hoop team that's under Mike Hopkins and folks. Let me tell you something about what happens. Okay, in this game, greed, there's always a better way, there's always a better coach. But that's not all the case. And I'm talking about Lorenzo Romar, who was at Washington from 2002 to 2017, him and his wife, Leona, okay, they roll as a couple, the hours of time I communicate with Lorenzo Romar, that's my homie, I say, what do you do for your hobby, I spend time with my homie, with my wife, okay, this is a man of God, a man of principle, the players knew when you came to play for Romar, you couldn't have no braids or anything like that, everything was clean, here's what I'm going to break down to you now, to the new athletic director, Troy Denton, Women Empowerment. You're going to take this thing and I'm going to give you the recipe that's going to get you to success. Because in this game of who, it's connected. And what happened with Lorenzo Romar, the, the brainchild, the athletic director decided to go in another direction. Well, you shut down the whole West Coast of basketball. And you don't even know you shut down the West Coast of basketball. But you did. But we're trying to fire that back up. And you know, a little bit of while we were talking about Kim Mocha, we talked about firing up the bus. Well, with Lorenzo Romar, and, and first of all, folks, let's clear the air. Because there is no communication. This is not from any Pepperdine, no resource. This is me. And when I talk to you, I always tell you, I don't talk analytics. I talk experience. Okay? And with Lorenzo Romar, Okay, you wanted to win. Now, folks, I'm talking about winning. Okay, because Lorenzo Mormar, right when that departure happened in 217, he had Aaron Gordon, Denver Nuggets, and Michael Porter. Okay, Denver Nuggets were both at knocking at the door of University of Washington. And when the word came down that Romar wasn't going to be there, they had to make other choices. Okay, Porter, Missouri. Okay, Gordon, Arizona. Okay, let's not kid ourselves. Okay, Washington, there is nobody has no time right now after Jalen Brown in the situations of players that went to Cal. As you saw, Cal program dip. And a lot of you wonder what happened in the program. I know what happened in the program. Okay, there's certain allegiances that are out there. There's certain people in the community of grassroots. And when you do them wrong, then things happen that just don't go your way. And I, and I know about that. Okay, because I know coaches. I know them well. Okay, and one of the coaches that was there that I'm not fond of, great coach, coach down at Stanford. Boy, I would never send a player to Mike McDonald. I'd never send him a player. Okay, he had my cousin Nigel Carter out of Dorsey. You know what? And his mom went in and talked to Mike McDonald. And Mike McDonald, that was an embarrassment of a conversation. And I can tell you straight up because I, I know what the community thought of you. And then you walked out of there and went to the Golden State Warriors for a year. And they said, get out of here too. Okay, so I keep it uncut. 
this is right here. This is a secret truth for Lorenzo Romar. Because let me tell you the difference now. Romar was a first class act, followed all the NCAA rules, okay? Never went outside of boundaries and connected well in the community. Here's where I'm going with this, okay? Now you bring Romar back, and Lorenzo Romar now has NIL money to get the best 15 basketball players. And University of Washington, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your current NL money, NIL money, current boosters you have. You have no idea if you bring back Lorenzo Romar, the number of boosters who are going to return. And I'm, and folks, I'm not kidding you about this. Most people try to make up stuff, and most people try to get here and give you some fake news or something. I'm talking real, okay? And I know Coach, and I know what he stands for, and I know what he believes in. And when you get a situation like this, because I'm looking at it, we got Quincy Pondexter, and we got Will, Will McCoy, okay? These guys are connected. Pondexter, nephew, Larry Price, Florin, the late Larry Price. Man, that's a basketball coach, man. And that's, I, we used to call him Ice from Detroit, okay? Everybody's connected. I'm trying to let you know, Troy Denon, what we got since Romar left, the whole West Coast of basketball recruits has been held up, okay? And they have been held up because we don't have anywhere to go. Washington, UW was the spot. That's how all the players got there. That's how the draft picks. And, folks, I'm talking about UW. You want to talk about UW? Let me talk to you a little bit about UW and explain how UW works, okay? If you look at the players that play in the NBA, it was all Romar guys. We got Markel folks. We got Justin Holiday. We got Marquise Chris. We got Justin Denton. We got Steve Hawes. I mean, we got Jalen Noel. We got Nate Robinson. We got C.J. Wilcox. Okay? We got Matisse Stiebel. We got Isaiah Thomas. We got Quincy Pondexter. Guys, dude, are you serious? These are all Lorenzo Romar guys, and that whole army is just waiting to come back to Washington. And when I say the Lorenzo army, Lorenzo Romar army, is just waiting for him to come back to Washington. And this is how it goes. You know, in LA, man, Shea Cotton, man, he's, this guy's training cats, okay? What I'm trying to say here, okay, is everybody that's connected in basketball, if you get athletic director Troy Dennett, you bring back Lorenzo Romar, Money Mike Syndicated Podcast, I'm gonna give you the secret truth, you're gonna win an NCAA championship. Now, folks, clear the air. This is no involvement with Lorenzo Romar. Pepperdine, we respect, we love you. I'm just talking about a man from 2002 to 2017 got the job done. Okay, and whatever dispute happened or whatever didn't go well at the time of pressure when the Pac-12 Pac was at its peak of basketball. Okay, we were running the NBA. It didn't get done. Now, why didn't it get done? Why Romar didn't it get done? He had too many one and dones. Okay, NBA is hanging out in the gym every day. Okay, the Philadelphia 76ers are in there. Okay, Utah's in there, Warriors in there. Everybody's taking players. Okay, so he gets one year with these guys. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, he's supposed to get at least two. But that's the rules of the game. He didn't complain about that. And I'm gonna tell you something, folks. With Lorenzo Romar, you talk about recruiting. Okay, and I'm talking about straight up recruiting. I'm talking about the best in the business. He's the only man in my 40 plus years of basketball that I can see he'll pick a two or three star recruit and that player will turn into an NBA player. Okay, he don't miss. And all we're asking, University of Washington, you dub, let's get the program back. Let's get Lorenzo Romar and his wife, Leona, back in the building. You know who he is. He's coached at UCLA. He's already had another stint at Pepperdine and a stint in St. Louis. You know, Washington is his home. And he did an assistant head coach down there in Arizona. But that's not really where we're all going to leave it. We're just saying that, hey, this is basketball. This is what we do. And I'm telling you now, folks, this chair... That I'm sitting in now. Let me tell you what this chair is all about and to the HBCU students and 
everybody out there in the community, this chair is about enterprise business, okay? Everybody talks about run a podcast, do this. This is about changing the world. If something happened that was wrong, let's make it right. And let's get things back on track that we could have our community back together, okay? And as an athletic director being appointed just in October, it's on your mind. There has to be a search. Who are we going to bring in? Because Mike Hopkins just isn't getting it done. That's not UW basketball. And, I, and the other secret I let, nobody wants to deal with Mike Hopkins, okay? That's the problem. And when you get a coach in a program that nobody wants to deal with, guess what? You don't get no recruits, okay? But if... Lorenzo Romar, you're hearing it now from the Money Mike's Syndicated Radio Podcast. I repeat, if Lorenzo Romar returns to Washington, the entire West Coast, and I'm talking all the way from Seattle, okay, you're going to run through Oregon, Eugene, you keep on coming down to Sacramento, you roll it all the way down to Las Vegas, you head up there south down to L.A., you go down there to Fresno, everybody's going to be on Lorenzo Romar's army. I'm telling it to you. You're hearing it from the Money Mike Syndicated Podcast. This is a move. And again, UW, congratulations on the football team. But we're going to get the hoop team right. And we just waiting on you to pull the trigger. Okay, so to the new athletic director, congratulations. And we understand that having a championship or an opportunity to win a national championship in football, that's what it's about. And at the end of the day, folks, let's not kid each other. University is big business. You win in athletics, you increase student population. You increase student population, you get more government money. Like I said, this chair, I'm only warming it up for somebody. There's going to be somebody younger than me that's going to come along. But I always want you to remember this. When you sit in this chair, it's about enterprise business. And we're not talking about the little business, the small proprietor. We're talking about running with the big dogs enterprise where you have a whole territory of the United States and you can do business. So stick with us. Here's the bombshell. We're going to get it right. And folks, I always tell you this. It's my opinion. But if my opinion turns into the truth, then I've given you the facts before they happen. And we know all things are possible to those who believe. And we know Lorenzo Romar is a man of God. And we know he'll get that Washington program back where it belongs. We love you, coach. And keep doing what you're doing. You do you, and we will do us. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. The Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast.